Hello Scorpio, I hope you're all well. In today's reading we'll be looking at whoever's on your mind for the rest of the year. Which I'll mention, I am jumping ahead of myself, but there's something here that's off balance. Um, some of you, this person has a lot of healing to do. Um, if you do have someone on your mind, there can be something to do with a mother figure or just their childhood. Some inner child healing, but their stances they're not giving to the situation. And they're not bringing stability your way. Why is Queen of Pentacles in reverse here for the person on Scorpio's mind? Very few of you, this person can be struggling with um, finances here as well. I do have a lot of Pentacles. Yeah, for some of you, this person was juggling. Or they had other people in their energy. They guard themselves. There's a there's a strong bond here. Not only, you know, we have Six of Cups, which is Sun and Scorpio, and we have Nine of Wands. Both of these do signify passion and almost a soulmate bond. So there was a strong connection here. But yeah, look at all these pentacles. We have Seven of Pentacles in reverse, Two of Pentacles, and Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Some of you, this does have to do with finances or someone needing to save. They're not feeling it as if they match up to your energy because you're coming through as the emperor upright and they're coming through as the queen of pentacles in reverse so there's definitely i'm seeing it's some self-worth issues but the connection is here this person is quite secretive though they don't express much to you issue it, this person has issue with being vulnerable with you as well why is six of pentacles in reverse here very few of you this person had someone else in their energy which is why they they chose to drop the situation they weren't bringing stability your way right with the two of pentacles that can be someone who's juggling here as well why is six of pentacles in reverse here one more Six of Cups again, some of you, this person, they're married, they're committed, and they have children. And that is coming through, but they're also attracted to you. If there's no third party here, Scorpio, it's, it's again what I was saying before. Um, this person does have some confidence issues um, stemming from something that happened in their childhood. I'm not sure, but there's a lot of insecurities, Five of Pentacles. If this person's apart from you or there was a separation this person does miss you. Um, they do. Your stats, we have Emperor and Ten of Wands. Well, you're stable here, Scorpio. I don't think you have much to worry about. There's you know, there's no card above the Emperor. So I think you're you're hard working and you may be focused on some sort of goal here. Whatever you're doing. I'm getting strong sixth house and tenth house. You know, um, taking care of your body. Some of you are working out because we do have Aries and Ten of Wands. That can talk about physical labor. Um, yeah, you have your stuff together though. But in regards to this situation, you're firm. I think you know what you want and you're not willing to compromise here. You're not willing to settle for less than you deserve. You know your worth. This is interesting. There's the Empress. And now you're coming through as the Emperor. Yeah, very dedicated though and some of you 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 feel tired um because the emperor right because of all the responsibilities you have you're feeling a bit exhausted maybe needing a break here as well right you're tired of being the one putting in all the effort with the ten of wands should i clarify the emperor let's clarify the ten of wands why is ten of wands here for scorpio stats some of you aren't even focused on this situation. Because in your feelings, you're coming through as single. So this may be someone from your <laughs> like emperor at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, two of swords, you're firm. You know, two of swords upright is when we're confused. There's indecision. You're saying, I know what, what I stand for. And you've made up your mind here in regards to the situation. Why is ten of wands here for Scorpio stance? Many. 
eight of pentacles in reverse so it may be something to do with your work your stability but you may have made the decision not to exert effort into the situation you may feel it's a waste of time and that is coming through some of you are tired with unstable energies um flighty people you know you're exhausted you don't want to be the one because six of pentacles in reverse in this person's energy there was something perhaps you felt you were doing all the work and you've decided no you, you don't want to right you're looking for an equal but i don't see the empress here Why is the? I want one more. Why is ten of wands here for Scorpio? Look at that. Look at your energy. We have Queen. Of, yeah, wasn't I saying you're wanting something more fair, balanced? Six of Pentacles. You're tired of people bringing instability um, your way or breadcrumbing you. You right? You know, you know what you want is what I'm getting. You're very, it's very clear-headed and sharp mind coming through, and you have strong boundaries here. Keep doing what you're doing. You're you're on top of your game is what I'm getting for you, Scorpio. How this person is feeling about you. We have two of swords, magician in reverse, seven of pentacles. Well, this person may not be communicating or they need to work on their communication. But they there's definite confidence issues. I believe I had this in your general reading as well. Um, the same energy. There was a lot of earth coming through, but this person needs to heal. They need to put in work into themselves before they can give you anything. But in regards to the situation, there's seven of pentacles. It's patience. It's when we're waiting. Why is magician in reverse here? Someone may have a... There's some overindulgence, but you would know that intuitively if that is the case. King of swords in reverse. This may be someone who drinks or has some issue here. They may be trying to numb their pain through other vices here. Yeah, something's off about this person, I was telling you. Um, this can be someone who's a workaholic or overtly concerned with the material aspect. I'm getting selfishness coming through here as well. But something here this person's doing, um, drinking, partying too much, some. Whatever they're indulging in is throwing them off balance here and is blocking their progress. So I'm not sure what they're up to here. I want one more for the Magician in Reverse. Why is the Magician in Reverse here? King of Wands. This is also someone who wears a bit of a mask. Some of you, this person's out of distance. Six of Swords. There's strong attraction here. But this is also pride, all three of these. Nine of Cups, King of Wands, Devil. Um, someone with a strong ego. But this person wears a brave front here. Um, beneath that King of Wands is someone who's struggling with low self-worth, whatever, comp. That's what I'm feeling here. Um, they don't feel good enough. Some of you, this person did. Perhaps there is, there's been a separation. Um, no communication, but this person's distancing themselves from you because how they're acting, we have Six of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. Some of you literally, I'm getting travel and work here. So they may be away from you because of work. But yeah, they may be going, they may be someone who's in and out. With the Six of Swords, they detach, but they're not, they haven't completely left the situation, right? Because Seven of Pentacles is when we're still wanting to work, invest in something. Clarify Six of Swords for how this person's acting towards Scorpio. Yeah, they're wanting to give to this situation. They're wanting to invest in you. Some of you, this person is extremely fearful here as well. There's a strong pull they feel towards you. Look at all that fire. Um, so they may pull back because they feel they lose control when they're around you. I mean, through as the Emperor, you're the one in control here. Regardless of how things appear, it's it's in your hands, right? You're the emperor. So this person may avoid you um, to sort of regain power over the situation. They may play little games here and there. 
it, but it all stems from insecurities, feeling like they don't, their hands are tied, they can't do much here. Someone who feels powerless before you. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for how this person is acting? Some of you, it's external, you know, things going on with the Eight of Swords. A lot of reference to finances. Some of you, this person is just working hard to build themselves up, right? Which is why they may not be able to give you their undivided attention, Four of Cups. I'm getting a lot of distance, whether it's emotional or physical. A lot of you I am getting is someone who's emotionally trying to maybe try to keep you at arm's length or, you know, friends first, that sort of situation. You know, not completely giving their all yet not wanting to let you go as well. Intentions, we have three of swords, seven of wands in reverse. Well, they're healing, which they need healing, so that is nice to see. Why is three of swords in reverse here? Yeah, if there has been distance, they want to come back around with judgment and five of pentacles because they feel left out. They feel abandoned by you. And this person has abandonment issues here as well. And they do stalk you here, Scorpio, Page of Swords. They watch you. Why is Seven of Wands in reverse here for this person's intentions? Yeah, it's stuck. It's stagnant. There's some codependency issues. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. They're coming through as Nine of Pentacles in reverse. You're coming through as a Nine of Pentacles. See, they're not going out of their way to make this work. They're not fighting for this, but they're not releasing this. Hanging man. That is their issue. Your feelings, we have death in reverse, hermit, nine of pentacles. There's some resistance to change, right? Because death is your card, but it's in reverse. Some of you are completely single and you're sort of your safety zone, your comfort zone. You're comfortable where you're at, so that may be, you know, you may not even be wanting, oh, death in reverse again at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you're there's something you're resisting here. Some of you, it can be having a hard time releasing the situation, this person, and others of you, it's just, you're comfortable being single. You're in a good space. Emperor, Hermit, Nine of Pentacles. So something about stepping out of your comfort zone. Why is death in reverse here for Scorpio? Why is death in reverse here for how Scorpio's feeling? Some of you are dealing with someone who's non-committal. Harf at Seven of Swords is a third party situation. There's sneaky energy here. And you may have had a hard time releasing that. This is free will at play here, Scorpio. I think you have many opportunities before you, but some of you are just comfortable with where you're at right now. Hermit, Nine of Pentacles, Empress, you're doing well. Um, you know, the masculine and feminine scene is very balanced within you. Very few of you, I'm um, not getting this strong because of the Hermit and Nine of Pentacles, you may be wanting to reunite with this person um, that you do, if you do have someone specific on your mind, yeah, there's a lot of emotion care. Um, it's almost a mothering energy um, that you're feeling with the death in reverse. It's all water here, right? Chariot, Three of Cups, Death, that's Scorpio, Cancer. How you're acting, we have Knight of Cups, the world in reverse. Those of you that have someone on your mind, yeah, you have emotion for them. Knight of Cups, that's an offering of love, right? Because you feel this is not over. World in reverse is unfinished business. But a lot of you, I'm seeing you're open. If you're completely single, yeah, you're open to dating, getting to know you, you know, people. It's a very romantic energy, Knight of Cups, yeah. You have a lot to give to the right person. But it's almost, you know, you have high standards here, rightfully so. You are picky with who you do get to know or who you're willing to invest in with the Queen of Swords and the Emperor. 
In your outcome, Scorpio, we have Seven of Cups and Five of Cups. Both Seven and Five of Cups is Scorpio energy. Seven of Cups is Venus and Scorpio and Five of Cups is Mars and Scorpio. Those of you completely single, you're disappointed um, with what is being offered to you. Um, perhaps flighty people, unstable energies, right? There is hope here. You may not be seeing it because we have the True Cups standing behind you. Um, so there's a little bit of focus with Chariot as well on the past, what was, right? If we look at the Chariot, she's looking at the Three of Cups. On the Five of Cups, she's mourning the Three of Cups, right? So there is grief here associated with something that happened in the past. But what your guides are wanting to highlight here is that you have options. Seven of Cups, there's a lot of possibilities before you, but you need to look up and recognize this. So that is also advice for you, right? To try to keep your thoughts positive here. Clarify the Seven of Cups here for Scorpio's outcome. Now, you're waiting. Usually three of wands is when we've made a decision. And we had that in your overall stance as well, right? You're waiting for your ships to come in. Perhaps you were stalling some sort of decision here in the past. But it's a waiting period for you. Some of you, you are, you know, the person on your mind may be at a distance. And that is, you're missing them. Five of Cups can also be missing someone, longing, right? And others of you, yeah, wow, okay. Some of you were three, 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 third party situation. We actually have three of uh, wands, three of swords, three of cups. So this may be someone who had, who broke your heart because of, they let other people interfere in this situation. The bond was there. Why is five of cups here? They're really confusing reading. Yeah, you were dealing with the juggler, someone who was playing the field. A very in and out, scattered energy, which brought you a lot of disappointment. For, because you were vulnerable, you were open with this person. And you may be running into the same energies over and over, and that's bringing you disappointment here as well. So that makes sense why you were feeling the Hermit Nine of Pentacles. It's almost saying... You know, if these are the people that are being offered to me, I'd rather be single, right? That's you knowing your worth is what is coming through with Chariot Empress. Because I'm seeing someone who's doing very well. These energies, they're flighty. They're not at your level here. It's almost attracting players is what I'm getting. So it may not be the most favorable period when it comes to your love life, but... When it comes to business, finances, it's just your day-to-day. -day. And your your focus should be you is what I'm getting. Some sort of routine you have here with self-care, that is what I'm getting as well. Spending a lot of time alone. Because wh whoever comes in is just disrupting your peace here is what I'm seeing in your outcome. Because you're attracting knights and pages. Right? This person's outcome, we have page of wands, five of wands in reverse, temperance in reverse. Those of you actively dealing with someone, this may be someone who, I mean, there's a message coming in, Page of Wands. It is, you know, it's flirting back and forth, but it's also someone looking back at you. And if there is someone from your past that you have on your mind, because I was saying they're missing you. Yeah, they look back and they regret if they let other people uh, get in the way of this connection. And the, the energy external to you is coming through as quite impatient. Immature and impatient. That is what I'm getting for them. Clarify the page of wands for this person's outcome. Yeah, they're pages. <laughs> page of swords, page of cups, page of wands. Perhaps they were only offering you passion. They're emotionally unavailable. I don't see cups here. We have four of cups. 
All the cups are coming through in your energy, Scorpio. Why is temperance in reverse here for this person's outcome? Mirroring you. Unstable. Moody. That is this person's outcome. Some of you. External. Bad timing. Wheel of fortune in reverse. But I see you both being separate from one another in the outcome. Then this person's... They're very restless. I think if, if you have been separate from one another, this is needed. Um, because you're both healing. But this person doesn't want conflict. Let's get some messages from this person. Yeah, let's look at all the fear I was picking up on. I'm afraid of expressing my feelings and have you reject me. My ego won't be able to handle it. So that is what why this person holds back as well. Afraid of rejection. I don't see any set energy 